Agriculture has the future. Well, most farmers aren't that optimistic about their future. They want their children to become a teacher, or even better, a doctor. But in any case, not a farmer. I see what you mean. We have a next generation issue here. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. Farmers complain. Ah, farmers always complain. But sometimes for good reason. Good practices promoted by Solly Dairy Dad might have helped farmers escape from extreme poverty. But many farmers are still poor. But we are working on that, aren't we? Modernization? Okay, that is needed, but mind the debt trap. And while we're on the topic of farmers, why do you always think of farmers as men? Most of them are women. As usual, they do the hard work, but they don't own the produce. And when a woman doesn't benefit, the whole community suffers. Ouch! Talking about gender issues. And how about the big farmers? Their business is based on the fossil fuel economy. Mechanization, fertilizers, pesticides. It'll take a lot of work to change that. A radical change to a bio-based economy is the only thing that can save us, and it needs to happen now. True, but we've already come a long way by creating the fair trade label. Solidaridad has really made an impact and changed the world. Finally, fair prices. Really? Fair prices? <laughs> Still a long way to go. Prices have been dropping for decades in real terms at least. And a fair share. Only 3 to 5% of the price ends up in the hands of farmers. Fortunately, consumers have become much more socially responsible. Ethical consumption is a thing nowadays. What? Are you serious? Consumers still pay €1.70 for a litre of Coke and just €5.00 for a litre of tea. This equals an income of about $300 a year for a tea grower. Wow, and the ethical consumer only pays two cents more for a litre of tea. Is that the change you're talking about? We need a much more fundamental change in order to feed more and more people that always want more. Chicken, pork, beef. If we want to meet the demands of 9 billion people in the world by 2050, we will have to double production. Or change diets. That would not be a bad idea for many of them. And have you been to some of these megacities? Development, yes, but pollution all over the place. And children suffer the most from no fresh air. And guess what? It has everything to do with agriculture. People are burning their agricultural waste in the fields near the cities. Peat fires and coughing children for the expansion of palm oil fields. It's horrible. Solidaridad's executive director claims that farming is the profession of the future. He's crazy. He may actually have a point. After all, agriculture is the only way to feed the world and provide the fuel for a bio-based economy. Choices like deforestation or reforestation and climate-smart farming are in their hands. But we need to help them make the right decisions. They need entrepreneurial skills, acceptable business deals and a living income to increase scale in combination with fair prices decent work and respect for the environment. Farmers need better infrastructures and enabling environments. OK, now that's an idea I want to talk about. And then I challenge you to walk the talk too. 